A good story is magic. It informs, teaches, and inspires. This is the story of two thoughtful men, the CEO of a New York Stock Exchange manufacturing company and his successor, as they walk a 10-year journey of transition. They are a father and a son on a path as they approach milestones, overcome challenges, and gain wisdom. Behind the Curtain provides wisdom we can all use. What's been your experience of this process of succession? And it is a process. It's, uh, it's very difficult. What's so difficult? It's then? difficult because it says two things. It's almost like when you were growing up and you were younger, you know, you never, when you went out with your friends, you never talked about health. You know, you didn't talk about right. Sam Jones is sick. Right. You know, Dick Smith doesn't feel good. <laughs> I mean, and as you get older, you hear more and more of that conversation. Well, succession is somewhat like that. In other words, you're getting older. And things you never thought of suddenly start to stare you in the face. That's scary. It's hard to listen to someone who's, who's doing things where you just don't feel it's right in your mind. At the same time, you think you're smarter than someone else, that this shouldn't happen with a father-son. You think, that's not going to happen to me. You know, I'm smarter. <laughs> I've talked to a lot of other people who have been in this kind of situation. <clears throat> and they all have the same questions, really. And you wonder about the whole thing. I mean, there were a lot of people pushing me. And I don't think I was ready to be pushed. I didn't like being pushed. I was spoiled. <laughs> Even though it was a public company, it was like my company. You know, I still look at it that way. Uh, I don't know, it was just an interesting walk through life. If you ask me to guess how this would be, uh, he's doing awesome. I really have to say that. And um, we had our moments at the beginning, you know, and uh, you know, I explained to him, if he wants me to lead this company, then he has to let me be the leader. And if he gets involved, you know, there were times when he walked in our vice president sales and said, blah, blah, blah. well, you know, that, I said, if you want to talk to me, I'll execute anything you want. You talk to me about it. Don't go to them. So we had our things about that. And as he likes to remind me, he said, he's still the CEO of the company. <laughs> you know, because I'm the president and chief operating officer, but he's still the CEO. So any major money things, he <laughs> likes to make sure I know that. You know, you know, you think you know more than your son, and you want to guide him, and you don't want him to fail, and you don't want him to, you know, chances, you know, risk is chance of failure, you know, and I don't know, it's just, the dynamic is unbelievable, I can't explain it, you know, like my dad says, we're too smart for this, you know, we're too smart for this, but we're obviously not too smart for this. Some people probably couldn't go through what we went through, some pe people I think where the father just has to leave and say, here it is, you know what I mean? Other times, maybe there can be some, you know, working together, but it just, it, so much of it is the personalities and the people involved and what's around them that I think there's just not one right way to go about answering that question.